Number two, which postulate of Dalton's theory is consistent with the following observation concerning the weights of reactants and products? When 100 grams of solid calcium carbonate is heated, 44 grams of carbon dioxide and 56 grams of calcium oxide are produced. Okay, so we should know, this is number two, right, in the question set, so we should know the postulates of Dalton's theory. If you do not know the postulates of Dalton's theory, well, first off, here they are right here, right? I wrote them down for your John Dalton's five postulates. And if you do need a, you know, in-depth work through, go back to question one. I, in this chapter, I go in depth into one through five, but let's see if we could just figure it out from here. Now we want to know which postulate is consistent, which basically means which one is correct, right? Which one is, are they alluding to in this question? So they're talking about reactants and products. So I know right off the bat that reactants and products are part of a chemical reaction. And I should and I know that reactants always go to products. So reactants are always your starting material and you will always produce your products. So reactants are always on the left hand side and products are always on the right hand side. Now here they're saying 100 grams of solid calcium carbonate. So this is only chapter two, we didn't do nomenclature yet. So I'm just going to say calcium carbonate. is heated and 44 grams of carbon dioxide and 56 grams of calcium oxide are produced. So that means that they have to be products. So calcium carbonate was a reactant and when it was heated, carbon dioxide and calcium oxide were produced. So I'm gonna say carbon dioxide and so plus calcium oxide were produced, okay. Now let's put the masses here. They said that there was 100 grams of calcium carbonate, and they said that there was 44 grams of carbon dioxide and 56 grams of calcium oxide. Which postulate is consistent with the following? Well, we should know that whatever the mass is on the left-hand side has to be equal to the mass of the right-hand side because Atoms cannot be created nor destroyed, and atoms have matter. So I have a total of 100 grams here, and what's the total on my product side? Well, it's the 44 grams plus the 56 grams, right? The 44 grams of ca carbon dioxide and the 56 grams of calcium oxide. What does that equal? Well, when we add them up, that equals 100 grams. So we have a reaction and the mass, the amount of matter on the left side on the reactants and on the right side are equal. So which postulate talks about this idea? It is the fifth one. The fifth postulate states that atoms are neither created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. They're just rearranged. But the key is, is that they cannot be created nor destroyed. The amount of matter, the amount of atoms, have to stay exactly the same. So, Dalton's, we'll say Dalton's fifth postulate. And I would just write out what Dalton's fifth postulate is. You could just say that atoms are not created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. So I'll just say in chemical RxN. RxN is reaction. Okay, but you guys can write out the full uh, postulate. But that's all that it is. Which postulate was consistent? It was Dalton's fifth postulate, the one that says atoms cannot be created nor destroyed. The amount of reactants have to equal the amount of products in atoms. All right? So this one was fun. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this helped you out. If it did, tell us in the comments, hit the like button, and I will see you guys all in the next question. Take care.